Hi, this is Pankari and you're watching me on Movie Talkies and today we have with us Pia Bajpai who's all set to mark her Bollywood debut with Lal Rang. Welcome to our show, Pia. Thank you so much, Pankari. And from Itawa to Mumbai, how has the journey been? Very interesting one, I would say, because um, I'm from a very small town, Itawa, like everybody knows about it. And it's very, very tough to come out from the city and especially to become a heroine. <laughs> so it was very tough challenging but I was having fun in my own way. So how has the journey been? Uh, till now I would say I'm very happy. I mean whatever I got after all the struggle and all and um, when I was struggling uh, to get uh, to come to Bombay and to get work here it was it was very tough. I mean it was hell of a struggle I did. Uh, I did odd jobs like uh, I was a receptionist in a computer institute. I used to uh, take tuitions and uh, then when I came back, to, when I came to Bombay again for surviving again, I become a receptionist somewhere. Oh, okay. And uh, I started with my dubbing. I used to dub for other people and then print ads and the commercial ads and the films. So was there any opposition from the family when you did it? Opposition know, you just was announced. actually from everywhere, not only my family, oh. it was from everywhere. So when I came to Bombay, I didn't tell my any friend that I'm going to Bombay because if I tell them I want to become a heroine, so they, I know they, they're going to laugh. Judge you. And, and no, not judging, they're going to laugh because okay. it's some, something which is very impossible for them. Yeah. And uh, if I can't make it, then I mean, how are I going to go back? How are I going to face them? So I didn't tell anybody. Uh, only my, my parents, they were aware of it, that I'm trying to do uh, something like this in Bombay. So, convincing my parents was a tough job. But the only thing, I was in Delhi, so I was already out of my house. Mm -hmm. So, going Bombay is just a little far. <laughs> so, I was okay with it. And uh, my dad, he actually told me like, um, I mean, do whatever you want to do in your life, but anything happens, like good or bad or whatever, it's, you, are you are responsible. Yeah, so I said, okay, cool. Okay, so how now that you finally bagged a film, I know. so how does it feel? I'm you still, actually, I, I, I want to tell you something, I'm still not in sync. Mm -hmm. I, I saw my film, I was very happy and then I saw a, again a film with the press people mm -hmm. uh, last night mm -hmm. and they gave me amazing reviews. So I'm still not in sync because I couldn't sit alone and like, you know, think about it, the kind of reviews I'm getting, mm -hmm. which is a very big thing mm -hmm. coming from a non-filmy background without any backup, without any support or anything and all you surviving here uh, just because of your talent. So for me, it was very, very important that people should like my work. They should talk about my work from my first film itself. Mm. So it happened last night and I was, I'm like very happy. But I think still I will take a four, five, six days to get into that zone that, yeah, okay. everything so is fine. Happened. Yeah, finally happened, yes. Right. So how did Lal Rang happen? How did you bag the role? Uh, I, uh, I, last year I signed with Kunalam Shah. Yeah, he owns this company, Trend and Times. He, 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 he's my manager. So I actually met him and randomly I told him that I want to do a film with Randeep Hooda. Mm -hmm. Nothing was there that time. I mean, Lal Rang was not in picture, nowhere, nothing. So he said, okay, fine, if anything good comes up, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, within seven days, he called me. He said, uh, uh, there is a director, Sayyid Ahmed Afzal, who made Yangistan. He is doing a film with Randeep Hooda. So I think you guys should meet. I said, okay, I met Afzal. He narrated me the whole script. I had never heard before about the blood crime, the blood smuggling. So I was clueless and he was also clueless about me. <laughs> then he told me, okay, fine, give a look test. The Mia actually gave a, uh, gave a very like long look test. It's, it was a whole day shoot. We shot for four scenes and that's how I got my film. So dreams do come true. Definitely. It comes, but you know, I mean, there are going to be lots of people who are going to pull you down. There are going to be lots of things where you will feel it's not worth. Just mm -hmm. just go back and do whatever you want to do. But then if you can fight with these all things, then definitely dreams do come true. So tell us about your character in the film. My character name is Poonam Sharma and uh, Poonam is from Saharanpur. It's a very small town and uh, she wears the salva suit. But then uh, she's a very confident girl and she's not that innocent also. Some cleverness is definitely there. The small town cleverness, which I can understand like what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, she's like, um, uh, whatever written in a book can be wrong, but she can't be wrong. So she is oh. that, that kind of attitude I'm she has. Right. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> right. Yes, yes. And she, she has bought this book, Rapidex. English so, course. Yes, English course. 
and she learned english from there and she tried to speak in english like whenever she get the opportunity and she she talks very bad english like she, she actually she had s in every word oh. is like i love you i likes you oh. uh, you are you are mad is like that <laughs> so which is very funny, funny. Yeah. yeah so this is my character and me and akshay we, we have a very strong love track in the film so w- whatever akshay's character is changing in the film with the with the scene so it's all because of poonam's character hmm. so we have a very strong uh, like combination there so you come from a small town your character is from mm-hmm. a small town yeah. how uh, did, do you relate to your character definitely at all? i do i do definitely i do because uh, did it become a little easier for you very easy i don't do any homework for it oh, okay. i i actually uh, uh, spoke to afzal about this i said let me know if you want me to do some homework or something he said no no please don't do anything <laughs> i just uh, i mean um, after coming to delhi and then bombay so whatever grooming you have done to yourself just delete that i don't want any oh. any part of it i want you how you were in itawa hmm. i said okay fine so what i did um, uh, in my uh, home i was wearing the salwar kurta and all and i spoke to some of my very old friends and the way we talk in uh, in a yeah. house yeah so i started talking in that lingo hmm. so it was so easy in two days you i was got back into the skin of your character two, just two days oh that's great yeah so the role came quite easy to you very easy it was a cake walk for me <laughs> and i don't do any makeup in the film so i used to get ready in 10 minutes hmm. i mean there was nothing to get ready hmm. you're marking your debut with this film yes. did you feel jittery on the first day of the shoot no not at all no no because uh, i mean i was i was very happy because <laughs> i didn't need to do anything for the character i was i thought i was going for a picnic or something because afzal is a very good friend of mine and we did workshop together like uh, randeep hooda akshay we we all did workshop together and i was well prepared for my role so there was no nervousness there was no jittery nothing yes. so you knew the cast already yeah i knew everyone there so it was pretty cool so how was it working with randeep hooda amazing it it has been a learning experience for me because he is a very very passionate actor and um, the way he works it, it's just like it's like a, he's an institute in himself you can learn a lot of things from him and um, it was like when whenever he used to do his scene it was like i don't know you watching some magic or something it was out of the world Very so spontaneous. no i think he is not spontaneous okay. he is a um, method actor uh, I don't know if I should use this word method actor but I don't know what he does he goes into character or character goes into him something <laughs> happens there which I'm not aware All right so Akshay Obray is playing your love interest in the yeah. film how was it working with him Me and Akshay we were supposed to do some more film together hmm. uh, like before Lal Rang hmm. and for some reason it didn't work out we were supposed to do pizza as well oh. Yeah we gave audition and I was on the in the, the finalist girls hmm. but for some reason it didn't work out but I I knew this thing that me and Akshay we, we were destined to work together hmm. so when Lal Rang audition we gave together I said Akshay if this is not going to work out I will never give audition <laughs> with you <laughs> So Akshay is a very good friend of mine hmm. and uh, because when we were shooting like lots of scenes we shot mm. together so most of the time we used to like have lunch together mm. and the breakfast or the dinner so it was a, i think a, a very good chemistry was there which helped us a lot i mean if you see the scene there is a comfort level between us mm. so and akshay is a very good actor he is a uh, more uh, a spontaneous one but akshay is like well prepared actor mm. so a very good combination i would say so since you were the newcomer the new kid on the block did they bully you a lot a lot i remember uh, i'm on, uh, like i got a break for 7 days or something so i said i don't want to go back to bombay because my first film and that first mm-hmm. film charm i said i want to be on set and like i just want to mingle with the team and all so uh, after a day i told afzal i said give me some work because i just can't sit on set like that he gave me this uh, continuity department he mm-hmm. said just see uh, randi buddha's clothes mm-hmm. and how can how to do this so randeep he used to pull my leg a lot mm-hmm. i mean he will come on set and he will say uh where is continuity assistant so he will never take my name are mm-hmm. you continuity mm-hmm. assistant kaun si shirt hai <laughs> and i used to look at him there we start to give him so it was fun and so you turned assistant for ha for randeep pudas continuity yes yes definitely and then uh, i mean um, I was very like little uh, careful about my diet and all mm-hmm. so he used to say don't even you know saas bhi mat lena yahan pe haryana mein saas leke bhi log mote ho jate hain so they actually pull a lot, a lot of yes, yes yes tell us about some 
interesting trivia or an incident which happened during the shooting of the film? And there is a scene in the film where it's kind of a making out scene, me and Akshay. And um, Akshay came to me and he told me that, listen, this scene, and in this, in this scene also we are drinking. Oh. So he came to me and he told me, listen, this scene is like a very hot sort of scene and we are drinking. Oh. So it will be good if we actually drink at oh. least one pack or something. Oh. And I don't drink. So, I, But even then for the scene, I knew that it's going to be a very intense scene. I said, okay, fine, let's try. I will. So we both oh. got ready for it. And Akshay's uh, boy, he made these pads, mm. which was very, very strong. Okay. So because I don't drink, when I had one glass, mm. nothing happened to me. Okay. When I had second pack, nothing happened to me. So I told Akshay, nothing is happening with me. He said, don't worry, till that time we will come for shooting. You will Something be set. Will I said, okay. <laughs> and then I, we went on set and we were just rehearsing a line. Then it hit me a little bit. Yeah. But then again, we were drinking. Continue, we were drinking. Mm. So when the actual shoot time came, we were high and how, I, I know. And one director, he got so scared because I was like too high. I was too high. Actually, I was still a little sober, but I was too high. And my condition was this, if they don't shoot right now, I'm going to sleep here only. Yeah. And my director of Zal, he got scared. Yeah. He was like, like he, he thought we're not going to do anything. I mean, yeah. the shoot can't happen today. Yeah. But somehow we did it. Morning, I'm like so conscious because mm. everybody got to that I was drunk. Mm. Morning, I'm asking everyone, did I do anything <laughs> wrong last night? <laughs> if everything was okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah. they didn't bully you about that? Oh, you did something wrong. No, no, no. Akshay was there. He's a pretty sweet guy. He said, no, no, nothing. Everything was so fine. So were there any apprehensions doing the lovemaking no, scene? No, you were drunk now. <laughs> no, before that, when the script came to you. No, nothing like there that. There was nothing. No, 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 okay. Yeah. You worked down south as well. Now you worked in Bollywood. How different is working in a south film as compared to a Bollywood film? Very different. Uh, why? Because uh, first of all, in south, uh, when I was shooting for films, I, I don't know the language, mm. so it was a uh, like pretty hard for me. Mm. I remember once I was shooting for a bilingual film, Tamil and Telugu. Before that, I used to learn my lines. Mm -hmm. But when I was shooting for bilingual, I cannot learn two two page like the same time. So I learned prompting. Hmm. But prompting is like it's quite disturbing because somebody is saying your lines, so you're you listening to those lines. No, no, no. The flow and everything is there. Hmm. You will rehearse with the person who is prompting for you. Hmm. So he will stop exactly where you want him to stop. But the thing is, your mind is working in see for different direction because somebody is sitting there saying your lines. You have to listen to him, yeah. yeah, and then you have to express yourself. So it's just too much of work. Yeah. But in Bollywood, I mean, there is no language of, no problem of language because Hindi is my mother tongue. So uh, it was such a big relief for me to know my lines without any prompting or without anything. And um, yeah, that's, I mean, for me, it was a big, big difference. So why should people go and watch Lal Rang? Because it's a good film. It's a different film. I mean, nobody ever made before a, blood, a film on blood uh, smuggling. Mm -hmm. And it's not a preachy film. We are not preaching anything in the film. Very relatable characters. Very, huh? And the characters are very real. I mean, if people will see uh, Poonam Sharma, so the girls from uh, small town character. girls, yeah, which is my character, they will say, yeah, we are like this only, we talk like this only, we, we wear salwar suit like this, there is no makeup, it's not like, how come she can put so much of makeup, we don't do it. So it's so real, Shankar's character is so real, Akshay's character is so real, we have beautiful music in the film and all like commercial elements which should be in a film, mm -hmm. like uh, your romance, good romantic tracks are there and fight, action, drama, emotional drama, everything is there. So I think uh, people nowadays, the audience, they are very smart. They really want some quality film. Yeah. So if they want to watch something really good, they should go to theater and watch. And if they watch, then more producer will come and make better films. So tell us more about your future projects. I have done a film called, a beautiful, beautiful film called Mirza Juliet. I'm very excited about that film. My uh, co-actor is Darshan Kumar, uh, Mericom fame. And it should release sometimes in August or September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just getting ready for it. So the film is releasing now, Lal Rang. Yes. Are you getting those butterflies in the stomach? Are you jittery about your first film? I don't know why I'm just not. <laughs> Nobody is, I think. In your, ca uh, you know, because your entire cast is very confident. I have seen the film. I've seen with the, uh, like, with the friends. And I've seen with the media as well. Mm -hmm. So that, that the jittery thing has gone, completely gone. And I know we will get very good reviews from the media and from the public as well. So, I don't know why I'm just not getting nervous or any jittery. God knows why. 
So Pia, thank you so much for coming on our show thank and so I wish you all the best for Lal Rang and all your future endeavors. Thank you so thank much. You.